Welcome back once again to the North American Star League Season 3. It is day number 3. Players are ready, so we are going to start this countdown and uh, get going with our first game, Sin versus Gonzi. Uh, Gamma Mania from the Gamma Bears, Sin versus Complexity Gonzi. Should be an awesome match. Kev, any sort of prediction as we go into this? Yeah, this is one of those matches where, I mean, you're going to have to pick one, and I must say this is a really tough one. I really mm. think it can go either way, but I decided to put my faith in Sen. He's always good at the NSO, and it's been a while since we've seen really a lot from him, but I don't know. I love that orange jacket. I just have faith in Sen and ZVT. Uh, ZVT. Yeah, I, uh, I really actually agree with what you said there. This is one of the harder ones to call. We know Gandhi is a top-notch Korean Terran. Yeah, man. Um, but Sin's a bit of a mystery. Uh, in the past, he's beaten Korean players. But in the yeah. past, he's also been beaten by Korean players, and we just haven't seen much of him in, in recent months. I, I kind of, I've been flip-flopping on this a little bit myself, but I think that uh, that at the end of the day, I think the Korean Terran's going to take it. I'll take, I'll take Gonzi. All right, man, we'll see who's right. I'm very excited. By the way, guys, this game is played live right now, so both these guys were waiting. That's why we're rushing things a little bit, uh, despite all our updates, but those are part of our program. But yeah, both these guys were eager to start, so we're like, all right, let's fire this bad boy up. Uh, so yeah, live action, man, I love it. Me too. If you guys have predictions, you can send them to us at twitter.com slash NASLTV. Also send them to, uh, we've got a pause. Oh. Oh. But that happens when we're live, man. Hopefully not. That's why you guys love live games, right? We're doing this for you. We're not that's doing this for that's ourselves. Right. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> if we would just be allowed to cast replays, this wouldn't happen. That's <laughs> right. Uh, so well, it does give me a chance to say, hey, this first game, this is our Kingston match to remember, brought to you guys by Kingston HyperX, our sponsor who uh, decided they wanted to make sure that Sin versus Gonzi took place. And uh, Sin saying, pause for a moment. I'm just setting my hotkeys. So that's what the issue is. It's nothing major. We should be jumping right back in game shortly. Uh, the map is Shattered Temple. You know where I sh where what I think that where I think that people should send their predictions uh, at NASL underscore chance. Yes, because <laughs> like chance predictions, chance. Oh, it makes smart. A little you bit see of what I did there? there it's kind of smart. Take a chance. Oh, stop it! Take you. a chance <laughs> on you. Right, yes. right, right. You know that song? What is that from? It's from Mamma Mia. Mamma Mia, here we go again. Uh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> Let's not do that. Yeah, All right, this guys, is we're not still waiting. Well for us. <laughs> no, <laughs> we're still alive. I forget this. <laughs> Only on Friday the yeah. 13th, says our producer. Yeah, this is actually the first pause we had so far in three days of broadcasting, but obviously, no big deal. Um, yeah, I mean the first map is the Shadow Temple, as you guys have already seen. Uh, after this, it's just loser pick, so we can tell you guys mm -hmm. what's going to be up for sure. Uh, we're going to camera three right now. Nice I'm not little sure. close up of Roti. I really have no points to make. Like I can look really smart right now in this camera. This is your best smart pose. That's <laughs> <laughs> the same pose you always make. I know. Anyway, right, guys, guys, I gotta tell y'all a story right now. The game is live. Let's do it afterwards. Story of the Roti pose. I, you, you, you don't have to be on camera for me to yeah, tell the story of the Roti pose. What's the Roti pose story with us? Oh, because all you have to do is look at any picture of Roti. Uh, go online, look up, go to his Facebook or his fan page. <laughs> look at any photo of Rotterdam that you can find. Uh, from Home Story Cup, from any event he's ever casted. <laughs> Rotterdam only has one pose for the camera. It is always exactly the same. And, and, w and when you see it, you'll be like, oh, the Roti pose. <laughs> so. you know, I just look horrific on pictures, man. That's the only pose that I can pull off. So <laughs> I got to roll with it. <laughs> I'm not the photogenic marathon runner. <laughs> <laughs> photogenic. <laughs> hey, man, it's like blue steel. <laughs> you got one look, but it works for you, brother. <laughs> yeah, that's still better than your zero looks. Oh, snap. <laughs> Hatch first over here for Sen, <laughs> the top side of the Shadow Temple. Yeah, why are you always bringing me down? Yeah, well, you're saying I only have one pose, bro. <laughs> but you just said you only have one pose. Yeah, that's true, but you don't have to let the public know. <laughs> Nobody ever noticed this. Actually, one guy did on Facebook because I had two pictures <laughs> on the row of like two years. Time, time <laughs> part of it, they were exactly the same. And he's like, hey, Roti, always same pose. And I'm like, delete comment. <laughs> well, Tech Lab opening from Gonzi, so it could be my favorite opening of all time. Uh, before we get too deep into the game, I want to point out that there's been a couple changes made to NASL, the Shattered Temple. Namely, uh, you'll notice that the gold bases are not gold bases. They're regular expansions. The rocks are still there, but these rocks have no armor, meaning they die a little bit faster than, uh, oh. than they normally do. Maybe so. they have armor one. Well, it's because it's an armored structure, but normally there's one more armor, I, I do believe, maybe even two more armor, uh, which, uh, which makes it, well, quite, quite frankly, it's a buff for Zerg in terms of the map, because it means Zerglings can kill those rocks a little bit faster. I still prefer you explaining why you like Reaper Expensive. Because it's the best build in the book, Kevin. 
Maybe I can do it once. Why is Reaper Expand so damn good? I like Reaper Expand then because it will always give you a great... Uh, I mean, you always will see a lot, you will know what's going on, and you should always be able to at least pick off a drone or maybe kill a couple of Zergens. You get a great scout off. It's a very economic opening as well. So all in all, it's just a great opening. I, I couldn't agree more. You, you, you get that no scout. The, whole, the sole purpose of the Reaper is to scout. He just has to do that one job. And and, and if he can do bonus damage, it's just Ooh. he's already done that Look at job. Sen. He's making a lot of Zerglings. Yeah, that's man. a lot of Zerglings from Sen. I kind of wonder what he wants to do with that. There's just a single Reaper. Donzi's going to have to pay attention to this Reaper. Uh, but of course he does. He's going to hop up onto the high ground after taking minimal damage. That's a surprising opening over here by Sen, man. So many Zerglings. He's yeah. going to try to run across the map straight away. Uh, the factory is not up yet, the reactor is going on. He's going to try to, uh, I think, delay this command center, and he might actually succeed in doing so. Well, he's going to have to hurry. That command yeah. center is very nearly complete, and the Lings are chasing the yeah, Reaper. So look at this bonus damage. <laughs> Gonzi assuring himself of getting that command center completed. The, uh, the Reaper does pick off a, a single Zergling at least. How many kills does he have? Four kills. Wow, three Zergling. Then it's a supply block, Ben, and it's a very nasty one. Yeah, supply block at 36. It's like an excellent wow. supply block. 25 seconds he's going to have to wait. This is a really, really big supply block by Sen and quite a big blunder. Tried to achieve something with those links early on, but did not manage to do so. Yeah. So very nice opening for Gunzi right now. You might even see Sin just throw down another hatchery. Yeah, because this, this is a lot of money in this, this phase of the game. Um, he's up to four queens. Uh, you know what? This 36 supply block is actually so easy to hit when you make four queens. Because queens suck up supply so fast. I've, I've gotten stuck here a couple of times. These are uh, two supply units. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you're used to building Zerglings and drones early on, so um, when you're playing this kind of gasless opening, this is the same sort of gasless opening we saw Hey Pro play yesterday against Cloud. Um, w w yeah. But but, uh, but the queens, they really they, they need a best supply, and it's very easy to get caught. Oh, oh, oh like this is this. not good. Two Hellions up in the main base can be very annoying. Queens don't kill them with any sort of haste. Well, Sen is going to take a lot of damage over here already, even though he might not lose oh, that many drones, but he already lost too many drones. Four so drones many a drones. huge shot! Oh my goodness! Uh, Gonzi really getting, uh, getting his money's worth there. Two Hangins getting, I believe it was six drone kills Seven. in total. Uh, yeah, Reaper, maybe he Reaper lost one already. Run. And again, more Hangins into the natural. So a uh, beautiful play here by Gonzi, just keeping the pressure on Sin. And uh, this is all made possible, Kevin, by the Reaper Expand. <laughs> I'm not sure if this is all possible by the Reaper Expand, but these two Hellions are still alive. Sen is having a really horrific start over here. Oh, another drone goes down. Oh my goodness, 15 worker wow. kills in total. That's ridiculous. Now, the good news for Sin is that uh, with the uh, with the four queens, he's got tons and tons of larvae. Yeah. But uh, I mean, so he can he can definitely remake stuff. That's literally the only good news for Sen right now. Ooh, Gonzi, what are you doing? Could have had three Hellions up in the main. He's gonna have two more. A couple of drones are still kind of low on HP. That was a bad Hellion shot. Man, and, and the Hellions are still doing so much work. Drones actually being pulled to fight here. And uh, drones against Hellions is, is not the best fight imaginable. 36 drones to 36 drones on the income tab. Uh, we can really see how effective this harass has been. 19 workers wow. killed in total. Gonzi looking very good. My prediction looking strong. Yeah, it looks really good for you right now, Ben. Double engineering base up for Gunzi as well. Uh, one armor and one attack on the way. Four of those Marines, Siege Tanks trying to roll out, Siege Mode on the way, and Triple Orbital, eight yeah. minutes in the game, yep. and barely being below the Zerg opponent, work wise I mean, this is massive. Yeah, it's so very important to point out that Triple Orbital, because that is the correct response to this gasless Zerg play. We saw Cloud make great use of it yesterday yeah. against Hapro and Gonzi uh, for, <coughs> I don't know what he saw, because that Reaper didn't actually see the gases, but he made the right read. Uh, maybe it was all those queens saying to himself, okay, I think this is a gasless Zerg. I'm going to take a fast third command center. Or maybe he just took a chance. Yeah, or I mean, the fast third command center is getting... <laughs> 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 maybe he took an NASL underscore chance. <laughs> on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> more drones on the way right now for Sen, but he's going to have to um, get way more out of those because normally he should have more, uh, uh, more drones in this phase of the game. Very great uh, overload sacrifice over here, though. He sees pretty much everything there is to see, and that's going to help him a little bit, but... Oh. This is one of the situations where you see something and you can't really do much about it. I'm so sad right now, Kevin. Why? Because I just realized that we forgot to make our funniest joke of the day what after the Korean update. Oh, we did. Dang it. We save it for next time. There's okay. always a new Duran update. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, you guys, we, we, had, not we had a really good joke that... Uh, that it wasn't like we don't exactly prepare material. No, that's a, that's the big problem. We never prepare. Yeah, anything. and the one time that we <laughs> think of something good beforehand, we forget to say it. Yeah. <laughs> we just get a free ball. Man, it was a really good joke though. So yeah. next time, guys. <laughs> I'm sure we're gonna forget it again. Probably, probably. So seven creep two wins on the way right now for Sen. So at least he's gonna get some creep threat going. <laughs> it's gonna actually go really, really quick. I love this supply wall, by the way, over here from Gonzi. Yeah. And look at the production tab, and it goes always, <laughs> almost halfway <laughs> through the screen. The screen. 
Lots Even starts Vikings already, just to snipe some overlords, I yep. guess. Uh, and that's, a, that's another really cool thing to do in today's ZVT metagame, as Zergs are getting away from making mutas. That one Viking can pay for himself tenfold just by picking off the uh, overlords that are spread out to, to spot drops. And Sin has spread his overlords brilliantly, by the way, Kevin. There's not yeah. a single drop path that's uncovered. And it's also very good for the moral of your troops to have Tom Cruise fighting for you. The alpha male. I'm not even gonna. <laughs> Tom Cruise is. <sighs> Dude, if I have Tom Cruise I on really my side. I really don't like Tom Cruise. If I have Tom Cruise on my side, I'm not afraid to Our die. producer's standing here. Morgan, have you ever met Tom Cruise? Is he a jerk? <laughs> <laughs> so confirmed by our producer, Tom Cruise. Is he the alpha male? Oh. oh. What? He said yes. Isn't he really short? Okay, all right. We've got StarCraft to talk about. <laughs> uh, Gonzi has taken his uh, his third base where those rocks used to be. So um, he's looking very, very good right now. I Sin's also up to three bases. I say this very often, man, but I still love to point it out. As soon as Terran secure a new base, and if they know they are going to secure one, which Gonzi obviously knew because he had a great early game, so mm -hmm. he didn't really have to fear for this third base right now. Yeah. Saved up so much energy on all his orbitals. Straight away drops still here. Small things, but it matters so much because if there is a phase of the game where you perhaps going to have to give this expand up just for a little bit, he will have plenty of mineral left in his main and his natural. That's right. Uh, one, one thing that's really overlooked a lot in strategy discussion in general today or these days is just <coughs> the rate at which you mine out your bases. Uh, and and if, if you can balance that, that, that just gives you more longe longevity. Uh, so uh, good moves by Sin for sure. Or Gonzi, excuse me. The Alpha Mill is on its way. Took out two OVs already. Third is going to fall soon. Burrow is being researched right now by Sin. Pedigree Cleanse as well. So he's going kind of for the same place as we saw Hapro go for. <laughs> All right, so we've got uh, uh, basically Roach Ling play here out of, uh, of Sin. He's going to be adding in Infestors very, very soon. Man, so I love this, by the way. Gonzi is so prepared for all some sort of run buys. I mean, this takes a small effort, but his one bunker is going to make him feel so safe for yep. the rest of the game. Well, it's a mistake that we saw Cloud make on Odyssey yep. that, uh, that Gonzi is, is obviously not going to make. He's got a tank in a good spot, a bunker behind the uh, supply depot wall. He's going to be very safe from things like yeah. that. The only thing what I would have loved to see Gonzi do after that great early game, why not be a little bit more aggressive? Just run to the Cell Naga watch style with some Marines and tanks. If Zen has a ton of units and you lose your forces, you should still be fine, and that means that he spent a ton of lava. Because right now, okay, he killed a ton of workers early on, but Zen is still going to get a really, really great army because Gonzi didn't put any pressure on him for such a long time. Yeah, that's, a, that's a good point. Uh, Gonzi probably could have tried to take advantage of a mid-game timing. Yeah. Instead, he opted to go the super macro route. We can see him adding command centers everywhere. He's about to take a fourth base. He's got a fifth command center coming up as well. I mean, he's going to have a ridiculous army, of course. Gonzi, in this phase of the game, having this army almost being maxed out. That's really, really scary for Zen. But if Zen can get a great engagement off. He doesn't have any banelings by the way. He completely ignores banelings. Has 100 zerglings, 7 infestors, 11 roaches but absolutely zero banelings. So I guess then it's going to get hard but imagine if he would have had some great burrow banelings. This could really yeah. turn around. Yeah, that's uh, something else that, uh, that uh, he could have certainly tried to do. We've got a big push here for Gonzi. Uh, starting to make take sh take shape on uh, on Sin's creep. Gonzi not even scanning to take out tumors. He's Sen? just pushing right out onto that creep. Seems like Sen is one uh, aims to go for the counter attack, but uh, very very nice by Gonzi. He's going to see top and tank over oh on the high ground man. as well. This is what we were talking about. Great positioning by Gonzi. He's certainly still going to take some damage, but uh, but he's bought himself some yeah. time. He's got that army coming back. He, he's going to lose some SCVs, sure. Uh, but at this stage of the game, with five orbitals, he can just drop mules, and that's going to be no big deal. Nice fungo over here, by the way, guys. Almost missed one of them. He's going to oh, need to land one more. All the Investors have pretty much been dealt with. More lings and roaches coming in, though. This is a lot of units for Sin. I don't know if Gonzi's got enough. And there's some more great fungals. Tanks can't siege while under the effects of fungal growth. And Sin doing some big damage to Gonzi's army. Yeah, those are some really beautiful fungals. But this is not everything that Gonzi has. Gonzi has so many more units coming here from the south side right now. Oh. And those Investors, Ben, they landed some good fungals over here. But they were not actually supported by any troops. I yeah, think that could have yeah, gone better. They all died, and now there's no investors to support the brood lords that are on the way. And Gonzi still with a larger army than Sin. He's up at 156 supply against 140. It's just Zergling and Fester right now. And I don't know if that's going to work against this many siege tanks. It's going to be really tough. He's going to go for it once more. The tanks are not siege, yeah, though. Yeah, he hasn't sieged his tanks at all. Yeah. I, I mean, I, it makes me wonder if he's got siege mode. Of course he does. Uh, he's but he's just not using it. Sin knows that he can't do anything about it. Drops the GG. Oh. And Gonzi. Taking game number one. like, you can drop GG, I'm still going to drop all my mutes. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what do you call a Menemu after the GG is called? An unmenemu? Um, <laughs> bad Menemu? Uh, an unseen mule, because Sin wasn't even in the game. No, but Gonzi was. You think it felt good? Maybe, maybe. He's like, ah. Huh. Mm -hmm. I, I don't actually know. I wish I had something funny to say to that, but I don't.
Uh, I must say, Ben, that wasn't the best game of Sen. Uh, he got yeah. a very unfortunate start. He went for a lot of Zerglings. Uh, oh. Yep. Uh, well, Kingston HyperX up on the screen right now. That's because uh, that was the uh, the Kingston HyperX. W w we have a name for that. Yes. Match to remember. The Kingston match <laughs> to remember. Well, Ben, <laughs> if this is a match to remember, then I think I'm going to uninstall StarCraft. Because <laughs> oh, yeah, it wasn't the best game that we've yeah. ever seen. But uh, Gonzi looked great uh, in game number one. And uh, we'll see if he can keep up that momentum moving into game number two. Uh, right now, we're going to kick it to a commercial break. And when we come back, game two, Sin versus Gonzi. Bye. See you soon.